Hey lovebirds, it's Julie Wadley, your matchmaker extraordinaire, and I am back. I know it's been a long time, but I really wanted to do this video um, talking about dating and um, making it simple, um, making it um, easy and breezy and still, you know, effective in, in, in all that you want it to be. Uh, there's so many singles that I talk to who say that, you know, this, this dating thing is not for me. I, I, I you know, I'm having a hard time or I'm just not meeting the people that I really want to meet and you know everybody that I want to date is, is interested in someone else or all of these different reasons why uh, they just don't like dating and it should be fun it should be exciting it should be interesting um, and if you're finding that it's not then um, I think you're doing something wrong so in this video and you know the next couple of videos we're going to be uh, talking about how to make dating fun how to make dating interesting and easy so that you can stay in the game and get exactly what you want out of it so roll the credits Okay, so first things first, there are certain skills that everyone needs in order to be an effective dater. Anybody can, everybody can date, anybody can date. There's no, um, there's no question about that. But if you want to be an effective dater, if you want to have fun, if you want to uh, get the most out of it, then there are certain skills that you need. And the base foundation skills that you need is learning how to be social. You know, a lot of people think that they're social or a lot of people think that uh, they've got social skills, but a lot of people really don't. Um, they're not comfortable with uh, initiating or engaging in conversations with people that they're, they don't know or they're not comfortable with. Um, they um, are, are a little bit unapproachable or they're shy. So those type of people will have problems or will have a more difficult time with dating because that's the foundation of any relationship. Learning how to be approachable and learning how to engage in a relationship and build connections with new people. So this is the challenge that I have for you for this week. Um, for this week, I want you to engage in a conversation and initiate that conversation with a stranger once a day. This could be the post office, this could be a restaurant, this could be at your lunchtime, uh, doing, during work, wherever, whenever it is. Your job is to practice being social. And the reason why you're practicing being social is because those skills of being able to talk to anyone, um, laugh with anyone, learn something new from someone, is because when you find someone that you do want to be, uh, that you do want to date or you do find a connection with, you're already home free because you already know how to be social with that person. So that's your challenge for the week. I would love for you to write your comments and let me know how it goes. And then next week, we're going to talk about building on those social skills for the person that you're interested in. So hope you have a wonderful week. Hope you have a very interesting week and you have a lot to share. So talk to you later. Bye.